Hey everybody, one of the Battletech Alpha Strike Battle Report. I'm back with Epic Talk Mike, and he is painting up his Rogue Galaxy of Clan Jade Falcon to face my Calm Starts. His first game of Alpha Strikes for playing 300 mm -hmm. points, King of the Hill. There's a special installation here, a Calm Star installation on this moon, and of course the Jade Falcons in their evil mustache twirling might are trying to take it. So show the table, we'll show you the mission, and we'll get this underway. Yeah, all right, so here's my 300 points of Comstar. We have one level two, so six mechs. We have a Crockett on the left, a Guillotine. So it's a Crockett uh, CRK 5003-1B. And then we have a Guillotine 2C, a uh, Highlander 2C, and a Black Knight uh, 6B, BL6B. And there's a Mongoose C2 and a Sentinel 3LB as the last of my, uh, my just sort of random ad hoc level two here. And we are fighting for King of the Hill. There's a Comstar installation in the middle of this uh, table here in the moon. And if you are in contact with it, you are contesting it. The um, contesting, of course, is going to be broken by an enemy model coming in contact with it. And if there is no such enemy model, you will score a point at the end of each round that you do. At the end of eight turns, the person who has scored the most uh, rounds contesting the objective will win the game. Of course, one side to being destroyed uh, will um, allow the remaining turns to be added to the, the force that still has max on the table. 2d6 roll to see who is picking sides and deploying first. Uh, so an eight to a six, you have initiative, which means I have to set up first. And I also have to move the first model. Deployed, I got my black slash white knight, my Crockett, Guillotine, the Highlander, and then my Sentinel and Mongoose. You've got your, I believe that's a Stormcrow? That's the Stormcrow with the, uh, what can see him back there? Yeah, the that? elementals are hanging on. Oh, I see, you've got some elemental damage. Yeah, we got the, the Loki. here. Yeah. Uh, Summoner, the Mad Dog, and... Timberwolf. Timberwolf, sweet. So you're using half inner sphere names and half, uh, <laughs> it's funny because on my cards for these, because obviously you're new to uh, MechWarrior, they they sometimes put the clan name first and they sometimes put the inner sphere name first. I used to get in trouble for this all yeah, the time. Yeah, it's super confusing. So the Timberwolf is the name of the Mad Cat. They call it a, a Mad Cat because it looks kind of like a Marauder and kind of like a catapult put together. <laughs> so forgive him, folks. He doesn't know. And I didn't know either in the beginning, so go easy. I lost the initiative, so I'm moving first. So I'm going to grab my movement die, just so you can see my TMMs. And I think I'm going to start with my little mongoose. And he's going to just, his movement is 16 inches, because he is crazy fast with a TMM of three. So he's going to move eight, and then eight again, and just go kind of hold down against this cover. And I'll put the white I moved regular with a TMM of three dice next to him. Are you? Yeah, we'll start with... Uh... Take the Mad Dog, he's speed 10. We're actually gonna just park him right up at the building. Smart. So head towards the building for the first turn. Yep, we don't quite get there, we're pretty damn close. You want him to face somebody to get in a gunfight? Yeah, let's uh... Face the big boys? Let's, why not? You Mad Dog? There's his team member too. So it's back to me. I'm gonna go White Knight. Uh, I think there actually is a White Knight mech. Uh, I'm just calling him that because I painted this guy. Wait. To match my Comstar. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to walk over to here. His TMM is not great. It's only one because he's a big, big stompy boy. Mr. Timberwolf? Yeah. I'm just wondering if I want to just like run him way up. And now, he is one of your biggest guns. If you look at his damage value, yeah. he is uh, he is a heavy hitter. He, he is a is, brawler yeah, extraordinaire. 554. Five, yeah. Well, um, he but he's, up, he's actually he's pretty fast, too. Yeah. He's not too slow. We're going to pop him right up here. And that's going to give him a TMM of two as well. Yeah. For a heavy, he's got a really high TMM. I particularly feel like sending the Crockett to fight him head up. Uh, and I'm going to buy us a little bit more time. And I think send the Sentinel. Sentinel's movement 12. So he's going to go seven to here. That's going to cost him one up, one down, times two to climb that. So four. So on the other side, he'll be at 11. Right? And then he's sprinting. So he can go another uh, 13. So he's going to go eight. So there, and he's got five more. And he's gonna be like, yo, this is the Microsoft headquarters. You can't come over here. Sprinted, so he'll get a black dice. You know that you can't shoot. And his TMM is two. He's not quite as zippy as the mongoose. Like going to the front door and evacuating all of the, uh, the nerds in there who are currently uploading, I don't know, some kind of terrible data. Uh-oh. Test, so I yeah. can't get it this turn. Yes, yeah, so he's gonna run. Dr. Mr. the Storm Pop right up here. Hello, hello. Oh dear. And he's bringing his friends with him. Hang on, Sentinels, I've got this. Yon Stormcrow is going zippy fast. Well then. Well then, seeing as how he's standing there, Dr. Mr. The Guillotine is going to just sit still and be like, uh, okay. So speed town, yeah, it'll be four to get to the other side, and you'll have six left. Let's go one, two, three, four. Ha ha. You just imagine him doing like a lunge over top of yeah. it. Yeah. 
doing squat thrusts. Yeah, we'll just, uh, actually, let's move him just a little more so we have a little bit of a firing lane on something. Yeah, going sideways. That's not smart. And we'll pop and TMM. Up. I mean, I believe it was a two. Yep. They could come to my PPCs. Well then, I've just got the Crockett and the Highlander left, and as there can be only one, it's a spectacular six inches, which conveniently takes me to the edge of this cover. So I'm gonna walk up here and be like, well, hello, Mad Cat. I see, I see we meet again. Extremely TMM1. He's at the, the lowest possible value of one. shoot a wall. Yeah, that's right, the lowest value of one. He is a chunky boy. All right, we're gonna run him up. He's gonna not be in cover at all. I got the summoner. Okay. Can we? Yeah. That, yeah. That's good enough. We can see around the corner. And that's another TM two. So many twos. So is it be hard to hit? Uh, you've got just the elementals who can pop off still, and I have my Crockett. Uh, is that a Crockett? Are you just glad to see me? I think he's just gonna hull down and wait, sit still as well, and be like, you've fallen for my very slow walking. Well, let's go to the preset kill limit. Uh, so we have sat still, now you can pop off in base contact with those guys if you want, or stay mounted. But if you stay mounted, of course, if it's destroyed, then you will also yeah, be in trouble. Yeah, we will pop off and make things <laughs> trouble for him. Walk, walk into this guy? Yeah. Like, well, hello, <laughs> hello, nerd. <laughs> I brought the clamps. I'm gonna definitely, is it the clamps you always give, those clamps? Yeah, they, uh, they pop off in base con uh, into thing and then charge the base contact. Well then, so we are into the combat oh. phase and yeah. I am, yeah, they have a one. Uh, they always get an additional plus one hit because they are um, infantry. I have to shoot first, so you're gonna get to see exactly what happens. Uh, I'm horrifiedly scared of that mad cat, but I also need to uncontest this building, which means I'm tempted to do many things. I'm gonna start with the guys I think you can only really see the storm Crockett first. He's gonna blast the storm crow. He's got cover over six, but I'm definitely inside 24, so I'm medium range. My Crockett has a skill of three, four or five for range. Six, seven for your TMM, eight because you're in cover. That still though, so I go back down by one to seven. So hitting on a seven, uh, he has a damage value of five at medium range. So he lines up those lasers and goes wham and misses because I suck. All right, well he's all done. Uh, back over here to the guillotine. Now you're in the open of the guillotine. Uh, he's also skill three, so it'll be the same thing except it'll be a six because there's no cover. Three for my skill, four, five for your TMM, six, seven for range, down by one because I sat still. And the guillotine is damage four at that range. Give me that sweet, sweet six. I did. I needed that last time. So you're going to take four damage from okay. him. Two armor holding and these two guys have both fired now, so it's down to the Black Knight. Uh, so you're in cover. Now you're also outside of six. You're not in short range. He has a damage of four. Now I could overheat it to five. I'm really tempted to use my overheat here. I could have overheated the guillotine by two as well, which would have been sweet. Um, no, I don't think it's too early to overheat. We're just gonna try and blast you. So skill three, four, five for range, six for cover, seven, eight for your TMM. And I didn't sit still, so no bonus for me. So an eight. Negative. You dodge that damage, and in typical inner sphere fashion, I am now incapable of damaging that guy enough to kill him, unless I fire the Highlander. Oh, wait a second and fire the Mongoose. I'm just gonna take a pot shot at your summoner over here, your Thor. Okay. Only skill four, five, six for range, seven, eight for your TMM, because you're in the open over there. So give me an eight. I do! You take three damage to the Thor. It's a trainee, it's his first day at Comstar, but he managed to land some damage. And that's the Highlander. This is my big boy. This is my, all the marbles. This is my... I took something that's kind of like your Mad Cat to try and have a comparable unit. <laughs> he does seven damage if he hits, so he'll just annihilate the Stormcrow, which I feel like is a better... Or I can start doing damage to the Mad Cat. Uh, I think I just try and finish the Stormcrow off. Only through the Mad Cat's yeah, it doesn't even get through your. That's the thing is the Mad Cat. It's it's you have to start with the Mad Cat early, otherwise it's just gonna it's gonna hose you. So I think if I kill the Stormcrow, I could also really damage the. Well, you're both in the open. Neither of you are in short range. It'd be the same odds probably to hit the Thor, but I'm gonna shoot the I'm gonna shoot the um the Rio oh, Yes, I don't have I don't have the. Uh, so you guys actually have a a rule where you're supposed to all pick a target and duel with them. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna try and enforce that rule with you today, but when you play the clan typically, you're supposed to have each mech pick a mech that they're supposed to be like calling out and challenge. Okay. And they can't fight them until they, they <laughs> until they can't see them anymore. So, I don't play that way though. Comstar don't care about nothing. Comstar's <laughs> got no honor at all, so I'm just gonna shoot the Stormcrow. So we're just gonna go guns hot. There could be only one Ryokin. So I am skill three, uh, four, five for range, six, seven for your TMM. And you're in the open, so that's it. So I got, a, I got a hard roll of seven here, but I do seven damage. Seven for seven. Come on, Highlander. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? 
All right, well, uh, there can be only one, and it ain't him. So it's uh, it's over to you, sir. I have fired everything. Okay. And done typical interspheered amounts of damage. All right, let's, uh, for fun, we'll start the elementals. We'll open the tin can up. Do us a punching? Okay. So you're just doing your anti mech attacks. You get an auto critical here, and you use your base skill of three. Three, so you're three, four, five for my TMM. That's it. It's zero range. You got him. So you do one or two damage? Two. Two damage. Oh no. All right, well, the Sentinel is, uh, not feeling great. He has four armor. He's off two. You do an auto critical. So roll 2d6 and see what happens in the crit table. 11. Oh, that was close. It's an engine hit. So now my engine's on fire. And every time I fire my weapons, I take plus one heat. Yeah, that is not what you want. So half his armor's gone and he's possibly on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so your Timberwolf can, I think, only really see the Highlander and the, uh, the yeah. guillotine back here. Now the guillotine's got no TMM right now, but it is in cover. He's got a TMM of one and is in cover. Which is a f okay. So it's one less chance to yeah. hit, basically. Unless it's over 24. Which 24, so yeah, you, you probably want to shoot him. Yes. Because you're plus three, sorry, plus, plus four, four, five yeah. overall for cover. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, so we'll fire the Timberwolf. So your skill is three. Skill of three. Four, five for range. Yep. Six for my TMM, seven for cover. All right, and... Oh, no! Seven. Right in the Highlander. You must be the Kurgan. So, uh, my Highlander, who we're just going to nickname Ramirez now, takes seven damage. Two, four, six, seven. Has two armor left. It has nine armor, so you've just about stripped it. Hellbringer's going to do it? Yeah, I'll do it with Hellbringer. No okay. gate. Um, no, wait, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the summoner. Sorry, that's the summoner. That's the Hellbringer over there. Sorry, yeah, sorry. That is the summoner. The summoner's going to go. Uh, still same skill, though. With the power still of Thor. Thing. Yeah. So then exact same roll, because it's also in cover. Seven. How much yeah, damage is uh, that? Ten. Oh no, ten! You have no uh, armor! Damage is, uh, it's four. Uh, Alright, so you've gone through my armor by two, which means you have to make a critical roll. Okay, critical rolls is two, six. Again. You got it. A five, five is nothing. Oh. So the vulture is going to fire on my, uh, my black slash white knight, who is going to be seer so three as well. Yep. Four for my TMM, five, six for range, seven for cover. Okay. So once again, a seven. And there's that a 10. the hot roll, all right, so uh, how much is that? That is, sorry, that was the... Do, 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 do. That's Vulture, the Vulture. Dog. Yeah, uh, four. So four damage, it's half my armor gone. He has yet to fire. Yeah, I like how you have Thor and Loki in your list. That makes me happy. You can see the guillotine, you can also see the Highlander. Can Obviously, you see the Highlander? You've, you've, oh, you might not be able like to actually. It's very oh, obscure, yeah. but I, you can see the Highlander. Okay. Or I can you will lose great honor, or you can shoot over here into the, the mongoose, yes. You'll lose great honor? I mean, obviously you already have no honor because you're too heavy to shot my heavy, but that's okay. No one's going to tell the rest of Jade Falcon. Really not me. I will shoot the mongoose for fun. <laughs> shoot the mongoose for fun, okay. I'm just going to keep bullying you with clan clan, clan honor like uh, taunts. That's not very honorable. We're just going to start, we'll start, we'll start fake texting you on Comstar uh, different, different like, uh, you know, things. All right, uh, skill three. Uh, against him, so three, four, five for range. Eight for my TMM, nine for cover. All right, let's crank it. Nope. No, I want okay. to miss. Round one, you had priority. We're into round two now. All of these come off, all the damage gets applied, and we roll for initiative. And... Five, two, ten. one, more than five. Aha, I have seized the initiative with my very badly crippled mechs. So uh, you get to move the first model. Oh, here we go. Bye. We can just we jump over job. to contest the building and be like, we, we own this building now. The Highlander hated everything that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore is going to run and be like, uh, no thanks. <laughs> and go six. And then six more. And redirect his anger at different mechs. Fully, fully hidden for a turn. And just be behind the wall. As much as a Highlander that can actually sprint, which is more like, like a fast, six. it's like a fast limp. <laughs> on speed 10 except for, yeah. yeah, except for Here you go with Logie. Oh, yeah, we're going to just. Walk 10. Walk 10. Like the elementals um, can handle on. this. Oh, you're gonna go put my long use? Yeah, go oh, uh -huh. This is loose. Well then, um, I suppose I have to engage these jerks at some point. I don't want to, <laughs> but we have to do something. The guillotine is uh, quite slow. So the guillotine might just die to a single hit because he does have only six armor. So the, the mad cat hitting him would be bad. He's gonna just get moving. He can move eight. So he's gonna move eight to here. And just hull down behind this with this sweet, sweet TMM of one. <laughs> Mattis of cats. Yeah, he's gonna pop up here. Like, he's my house! <laughs> mm -hmm. Whose house? Run's house. Wall for safety. Well, I hate everything about that. <laughs> he's, in my, he's in my face like a can of mace, baby. Uh, let's go with the guillotine. No, the crocus, right? The guillotine just moved. 
they have the same kind of profile. Um, I think I just come around back of this just to be able to see you, but bean cover. Or Mad Dog. Going to just <laughs> and or Mad Dog. <laughs> Depending on who's saying it, you going to walk up to the corner. Walk up to the corner, hug the cover a bit. TMM. Yeah. Two. A deuce, as they say in tennis. Uh, okay, well, uh, it's not very sh sh chivalric of me, but I'm going to just edge backwards slightly to see the Mad Dog, but not die immediately. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, I'm going to go back to Meow. If I can walk, I think, eight? Yeah, I can walk eight. Back to there. Get some cover, but also not get mad catted. So we're going to just shuffle into this little cave here. And be like, don't kill me, please. Shoot my son on the back. <laughs> oh, I see you would like to honorably fight me. Therefore, I am not going to allow that. And I'm just going to go 16 behind you. Because I have very fast legs. Okay. And therefore, I will shoot you in the bum until you're no longer alive. <laughs> That's my plan. Don't worry, Loki. Oh. <laughs> Two can play your tricks. The mongoose is loose. Uh, yeah, so so you've got your Thor. Yes, your summoner. All right, Thor. Go save your brother. That's yeah, basically what I mean. <laughs> um, Let's yeah. play Get Help. <laughs> I love Get Help. I hate Get Help. <laughs> and you also touch the building, too, to contest this. Yes, he will. You go. No one's got the building. Let's play Get Help. Oh. Uh, I also hate that, so... <laughs> so... Where else would well, I like to be? You did declare you were going to shoot me in the bomb. I did, I did declare that, yes. And war were declared. Now, I have to keep contesting this building, so I can go with my Sentinel... He can go 12, so 8, we get me to there, and then 4 more, we get me back to here, I'm just going to be in, in the rear with the gear again, and nobody can see anybody, and there's a massive parking lot fight right now. I have the initiative, sir, so you may shoot first with all your guys. Cat will actually probably delete me if you hit, yes, <laughs> that will be bad. We're going to save, oh, he can't see, oh, he can see, the, you can see the white knight over here. Can you see the white knight? Yeah, yeah, and you can definitely see the mongoose, too. We're gonna take the um take shot, take shot over here. Yeah. Into my running Highlander. Okay. So you've got uh three plus two for range is five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're over six, yep, yeah. within twenty-four. Uh, and then six for my TMM, seven for cover. No. So three. A trace that's, will not do that, it. That's not even slightly. That is not even half of what you needed. So then uh working left to right, who's next? Let's um they can't see or do anything, so that's fine, they're done. Um, uh, I mean, they can shoot if they have a medium range gun. They have a medium. They have a single point of damage. Range. Yeah, yeah, they have a single, single point of damage. Medium range damage. Let's just. I mean, it. he's not exactly heavily armored, so why not? He has twenty four, right? It After is. 24? Yeah. So you'd yeah, be good. three, four, five for range, but then eight for my TMM because I'm a zippy fast mech. Oh no! You do a point. Points of armor and a mighty one structure. The guy's actually just in like a sleeping bag inside of that. <laughs> <laughs> the Thor. Yes. Yes. Same right. target. Uh, so you, once again, you need three, four, five for range. My Tima makes it an eight, so hard eight. No! How much damage is that? Sorry, that was uh, Thor? Yeah. Thor, yeah, that's uh, four. Yeah, that's, that's all of my hitboxes if I was healthy. So I am dead at the end of the round. So we lay him down, we know that he will be dead at the end of the turn. The Vulture is going to fire the guillotine. So once again, three for your um, skill, four, five for range, six for my Tima, and seven for cover. We'll do it. How much damage is that? That's probably, hang on, sorry, which mech was that? The Vulture? Vulture, 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 four. Four, two armor left. That's the Sentinel and try and get me off the objective. Yeah, now, me. are you within six? I think I'm, I stupidly placed him within six. I uh, think he might be just outside six. Oh, it's so close. Oh, so close. Oh, I'm gonna give it to you. This is the corner of the base I can't see through the Mad Dog, but I'll still <laughs> give it to you. Um, so it's gonna be uh, three, zero for range, but my TM is two. So uh, five. So five Five total. damage on five. Uh, okay, well, it's, it's the end of Zombie Shakespeare. He is four points remaining, so he also lays down this turn. Anybody else? Or is that no, it? that's my whole turn. Didn't he not fire? He did. Didn't he whiff? I don't think so, but that's okay. I, I mean, the guy. Fired. I think the guy he was gonna shoot out's dead, so it's yeah, relevant yeah. anyway. I mean, he gets. Oh, oh well, it's, I don't. I don't remember. I, I, maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. We we apparently need some like <laughs> shooting tokens. <laughs> if only it was all on camera, so that we could somehow know. We need to skip the storm crow. So you are going to shoot the black knight over here. So that's going to be once again a seven. So three, four, five for range. Six for cover. Seven for TMM. Got some. How much damage is that? Uh, storm crow five. Oh, you're two into my five guts. Medium. So yep. that's a crit roll. Okay. Crit is six. Six. Six is no bueno. That's going to be a weapon point, so I'm going to lose a point of damage. Right. Well, that's uh, 
Ah, uh, some typical clan shooting. I'm down two guys. <laughs> I sent one of yours to the hospital. You sent two of mine to the morgue. Oh, Highlander can't shoot. Let's take some sweet revenge here. And the Mongoose is going to shoot that uh, Loki in the bum. He's only skill four, but it's zero for range. I might as well overheat because I can. Uh, so might I'm going to do well. one overheat now that he's alive at the end of this. Uh, so I need a three. It goes to, or sorry, he's skill four. Sorry, it goes to nothing. So just a four. Four, oh, five, six, four, three, three, TMN. Sixes. Oh, you jerk. Even, didn't even from hell's heart you. Uh, so then it's going to be uh, over here, the Sentinel. Uh, he can not overheat. So he's going to do three damage at skill three, four, five for your TMM. And that Vulture. Oh, but I get plus one for shooting in the rear, I think. Plus one damage. I get extra damage if I hit you in there. That's what it is. So over here, trying to shoot the rear again. An 11 will definitely do it. Yeah, and it's four damage because it's shooting you in the rear with the Sentinel. Four to the Vulture. Four to the Vulture. One knife in the back as we die. Still in armor there, okay. Got one hit left. Well then, I think we go big with the Black Knight and he's gonna overheat because he's gonna lose his weapons after this turn anyway. So I am skill three, four, five for range. You're in the open this time. Uh, so your TMM of six, seven is what I need to hit. So hit me with the horns, Tony. Yeah, it'll do it. Nice. Uh, so the Black Knight upped his uh, medium range to five damage there. Him down for the wow. turn, sweet. Well. All right, I think this is the turn we have to start dealing with the Mad Cat, because if we don't, it's, we're going to have bad time. Guillotine, you can overheat two, which you will. So you have uh, four damage, it's going to go to six at medium range, overheating twice. Uh, your skills three, four, five for TMM, six, seven for range, and then eight for cover. Got a hard roll in eight, but I'm going to really land it if I do. I need this big boy to do something. Give me that eight. That's... No, that's almost the eightest, <laughs> one eightest thing you could roll. Well, it also means I'm plus two to hit now for uh, my next turn shooting. I didn't go so great. Uh, Crockett! I mean, Tubbs can't do it, so it's your turn. Also overheat two. Oh god, I'm so tempted to, <laughs> to shoot the Stormcrow instead. I might see him. I think it's gonna have to be the Mad Cat sitting there taunting me. Alright, so three then. Uh, four, five for range, six, seven for TMM, eight for cover. But it's gonna be seven damage if I land it. Give me that eight. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So seven damage, but I overheat twice. The crocket is lit up and smoking. And he has one point of armor left. Oh, if only I landed both. These guys are now all smoking hot, all three of them. Now, the only way to bleed all my heat is to not shoot for a turn. Claim to the zone for one. So you, sir, have now the advantage. Our dead models, which is a mongoose and a sentinel for me, and I managed to get your vulture. Round three initiative to see who's going first. Initiative, that's 10. That's also 10. Oh, do it again, do it again, do it again. Eight. You're uh, seven. Seven, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go, uh, you have to move first, but I have the priority for the round. Elemental is just gonna Shh. take a little hop, be back here. He's I wanna be over here now. They're just doing more they're trying to find the front door. They're, they're, they're just graffitiing more yeah. <laughs> somewhere. So they get a red jump dice with a one. Forgot they jumped last turn, they would've been plus two to shoot against that, you know, but I think he rolled high, I think he rolled like an 11 or something that he was still gonna hit. It's very heated up, so he's just gonna sit still. It's like when- You're gonna go hey. corner shuffle to where the vulture was. Yeah, like, so that's wide open to uh, the knight. To the knight, yeah. yeah. But I mean, we'd be trading pieces at that point because my white knight or my black knight. Yeah, you know, that's fine. My black knight has four structure yeah. left. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll shimmy him there. Coming into cover, sweet. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah. Well, oh, Mr. Black Knight, you don't like anything about this. So I think, I think you actually just sprint. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like anything about fighting that guy at all. Uh, I think we actually just sprint over to, or we don't sprint, we just walk over to here eight, get out of his line of fire, but then just like watch this way. Try and not get gunned down by that guy in one round. Stormcrow, your Thor, and your Loki. So yep. your Hellbringer and your Summoner yep. left. Loki, speed 10. Yeah, let's drop him up there. Like, well, hello. hello, Highlander. Highlander is going to do what the Highlander do in last stand over here. He's just going to sit still. It's He's trading a team of one for minus one to hit. I think that's more valuable. Or your Stormcrow left. Okay, Thor is going to just walk all the way around the building. Oh, dear. That's going to put him in line of sight for two of your mechs, though. He's going to die. It's a piece trade. Maybe. I don't want to go that far. Am <laughs> I damaging him at all yet? Back. I don't even think I've touched that guy yet. I think you're fine. He's sitting on still. very little life. <laughs> or no, he's taking. he's got two armor left, actually. I'll just stand, I can still see them both there. That's... Yeah, we'll stop there. Okay. One more structure, this is something I haven't actually talked about yet. I go into what's called retreat, which means I have to back up. If you ever have half or less of your structure ring and no armor, right. you start to just head to the rear because you're, you're like, like, ah, 
I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Yeah, you're literally homering back to the hedges. It's it's not good. Um, none of my. So I need one one more damage. Sorry, two. Yeah, one more damage. Two more damage, and my Highlander will start backing up. Okay. And um, one more damage. The Black Knight will do the same. Do you have anyone left to move? I have my guillotine. He's actually just gonna move. He's gonna move. He goes. The guillotine can go eight and jump. So he's just gonna go back to here, I think, and walk. Live, but also maybe kill your Loki. <laughs> back this way. All and right, so you've got so your storm girl left. Shimmy back. Shimmy, and then we're still on fire for the night. Okay. Oh. Then that's all our movement. So we're into shooting, and you go first, sir, because you lost the initiative. However, definitely hold the comm star installation this turn. I'm having. I, I'm. I'm trying to hold the being alive. Right here at your um, Highlander. Oh no, over here. All right. So you are three. Four, five for range, six for cover, but no TMI bonus, it didn't move. So six. Cranks are 10. How much damage is that? Uh, how about your four? Uh, he has one left, which means he's retreating this turn, or next turn. Next. Um, so your Stormcrow. Stormcrow, Stormcrow yeah. into the night. The night, okay, we're both in the open to each other, because you moved. Yeah. So you will be three, once again, four, five for range, six for my TMM. Five. Oh, he misses! We got off lightly there. So then you got your Thor and your Mad Dog slash Timberwolf. Yeah, uh, Mad Cat, sorry, we'll slash have Timberwolf. Thor pop. Over here into the Crockett. The cra or Crockett, yes. Okay. So you're still in 24, so that's going to be skill 3, 4, 5 for the range. Uh, zero for my TMM, Ooh, but 6 for cover. I'm just going to... The Hounder has one box left, so you could indirect fire kill him potentially. Yeah, let's try and indirect fire him. Okay. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So you're 3 then. Uh, four, five for range, six for my TM. Oh, actually, I don't have a TMM right now. There's no cover. Uh, it's just six for um, indirect firing. That's Thor. Boom. Got him. That's one point. So he's going to lay down at the end of this. And Mr. He's Timberwolf. Got, he's got one target, so. He's going to shoot the Crockett. Well, the Crockett luckily is undamaged, so he can take at least one hit here. All right. Three, four, five for range, six for cover. Six. Him for seven. Um. Five. Five, okay. Yes. Not too terrifying. Armor remaining. Okay, well, time to go back. Well, the Highlander's gonna go down in Blaze of Glory. So he has one overheat, he's gonna do it. So he does eight damage, short run at medium range. So he's three, four, five for range, six, seven for your TMM, eight for cover, back down to seven because he stood still. So he's selling his life for this. Do it, you need a seven, do eight damage, kill this guy. Oh my god, you suck. Suck diddly act Flanders. Alright, well the guillotine's just gonna sit and cool off, because I want him to get rid of his overheats. Crockett's gonna fire the Mad Cat. Crockett's three, four, five for range, six for cover, seven, eight for TMM, back down to seven because he sat still. I'm really tempted to blow my overheat and just shut down next turn, because if I do, I'll get, I'll come back after a round. And He's I, only got five boxes left. That's what I mean. I, yeah. Oh, you'll, if you have five boxes left, I'll kill you no matter what here. Yeah. Yeah, Do the overheat I? doesn't. Oh, it doesn't matter. Then the overheat doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna. Sorry, but I'm, <laughs> but I'm plus two to hit. So I'm actually f um, five, six, seven for range, eight, nine for TMM, ten for cover, back down to nine for sitting still. So I might not kill you. So overheating is pointless. I got a quarter. Or I, I got. I got a chance to auto. I got a hot roll in nine because I'm so overheated. We did it! So I lay down the Mad Cat. Blam! For five damage. And then the Black Knight trying to finish off the Stormcrow. How much do you, I only do three damage right now. How much uh, health do you have? Stormcrow? Yeah. Stormcrow has two armor, three structure. Oh, so you have five left. I can only overheat once. So it actually doesn't change anything here if I overheat. Mm, except uh, I'll be worse at shooting next turn. More damage from criticals. I do four damage, but I don't want to take the penalty next turn. So I'm just going to try and hit you. I'm um, skill three, four, five for range, six, seven for um, your TMM, eight because you're in. Or eight because I'm overheating. So eights. No. Uh, and that's it. So the guillotine loses all of its heat. I lose my Highlander. You lose my Mad Cat. And we're peace trading down to three. Let's again hold uh, Commissar headquarters for a second round. So we're up to turn four. Initiative. Who's going first? Four. Nine. All right. Well then, once again, I have the initiative and yet not the building. Uh, well, we're into you moving first, sir. You have four remaining units to my three. Around the corner. Oh dear. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> well, hello. Well, the Crockett is still very bad at shooting, so it's just gonna, I think, move it six around to here. Get a better angle, but make you move that uh, Loki if you want. Loki's coming out. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. I cover from the Highlander, just not from the, the Crockett. 
Yeah. Well, Mr. White Knight, you need to be the one to go retake the zone, unfortunately. Uh, which means I think you need to run. No, no, never. Just go wait. Just go wait to here. And hug the wall. Four boxes remaining. Okay. So one, one more damage to him, and he's going to have to start to fall back, actually, where's my board edge. No, so, no. There's no wiggle <laughs> over kidding. here. They're just going to oh, okay. team him up. Oh, there's a, there's a big robot on that side. We don't want to be there. No. And then it's just, no, I've got my guillotine okay. left. Uh, and then it's your storm crow, so. Yep. Don't much like the storm crow. I feel like I could probably, I'm totally not heated up now. How much damage does he have on him? Is he smoking hot, or is he... Not. Sorry, that's the summoner or yeah. Hellbringer? Hellbringer. Hellbringer, he's taking no damage. He's yeah, got eight boxes. We're gonna avoid that guy. <laughs> we're gonna go eight. So we're gonna go six. And then two more. Seven, eight. Thank you to that. Stormy, come fight me. I'm gonna to get fight into mostly cover. And fight the Black Knight 101? Yeah. That makes sense. Just getting behind the wall there. Well, you are shooting first once again. As I have the initiative, so I think the Hellbringer slash Loki is neutralized. Yep. You've definitely got line of fire on the uh, Black yeah, Knight that's with his the only target. Stormcrow, and the Hellbringer's got lots of choices. Yeah, so let's start with the, uh, the Stormcrow. Or the Loki, sorry, the Summoner. Yep, yep. So the Stormcrow, um, skill three, four, five for range, six for your TMM. You open. So six as it is. Oh, yeah, sorry, no cover. Yeah, 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 six it is. Boom, there's a six. Crank the Kill Black. the Black Knight at the end of that. Your Thor. Um, yeah, Thor... The guillotine is jacked up. It's got two armor and six structure left. The Crockett, I think you've got four armor and seven structure left. So they're both still armored. Yep. And you haven't gotten in their guts. Going to the guillotine? Yep. All right, okay. so you're looking for three, four, five for range, because you're outside of six, seven for TMM, eight for cover? No, three, four, five, six for range. No, three, four, five for range, six for TMM, seven for cover. All right. Sevens. There we go. How much damage is that? Four. That is the remaining armor on, oh, sorry, the guillotine. That's two armor, and you're in his gut, so you have to make a critical roll. Eight. That is a weapon point. Off one of his weapons, he'll be down to three damage. It's your it's my elemental. Loki and your elementals. Yeah. yeah, and they're they're hiding once again. Play. Well, uh, Black Knight, do you peace trade with the Storm Crow? Does this duel end in mutual destruction? Or three, four for heat, five, six for range, seven for cover. That's a seven for TMM. I don't hit you. <laughs> so you win. You win that duel, Gadget. <laughs> He's gone. It's Crockett with his, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to do this shot into the um, the Thor over here. So yeah. he's got skill three, four, five for heat. Um, six, actually, sorry. Do we do that now? How much health does he have left? I haven't even touched Thor, him, have I? Thor's, oh, no, he's taking three hit points. So he's taking still got three. three armor and four structure. Okay, so there's a good chance I don't do this. So I'm actually not going to shoot him yet. The guillotine first, because if I overheat the guillotine twice, I might just kill you. Oh no, I only use six total if I do the guillotine. Ah, oh, boo. But then you pump a couple criticals into him, right? So. I could potentially critical you, yeah. No. No, we go big. Let's see if we hit you. So for five damage, he's got uh, skill three, five for heat, six, seven for range, eight, nine for TMM, ten for cover. Just got a hard roll of ten. Come on, Crockett. Tubbs needs you. Ah, and nice. a bonus critical. So I do five damage. Four. Okay, so that's two into the guts. And it's a second, you don't normally get more than one critical roll, but because I rolled box cars, I get a critical plus the in your guts okay. critical roll. So the first one is a seven, which is a, you take a move motive okay. damage. And the second one is a four, which is your fire control. So you're plus two to hit now. Slow and limping. <clears throat> Oh, come on, guillotine. Finish this guy off. So he's in the open to the guillotine. Uh, he has skill three because he's no longer overheated. Four, five for range. Six, seven for your TMM. You only got to do two damage. I do two damage. See if we can finish him off. The guillotine! Nope, missed. Because we're, we're actually like physically, it's like trying to pilot the claw at the arcade to get the stuffed animal. Like that's what they're doing right now to find it in their guns. That's right. Do it. Just do it. Just, <laughs> just point the arm in the right direction. Uh, okay. Well, that's us. Comes off. Uh, and you have managed to survive the round, although I did jack up your summoner. Good point for holding the zone, though. Those elementals are having a party in there, spray painting graffiti everywhere, talking about how Kerensky's the coolest. Really making a nuisance of themselves. Uh, and I am now rolling for initiative on turn five. 
four to three somehow. Three. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. five, five to three. But I got it again. So you move first. I have to make two models to one because you have four units to my two right now. Yeah. So you have twice as many. So you shake. And you just jump over there again. Just doing donuts in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're little jump packs. And then he can only walk five. I'm just gonna make him walk over here so he's kind of obscured from the guillotine. <laughs> That's right. It's not great. It's fair. And he's, he's pretty sure he's dying. TMM. He's like, this might be the end of Thor. Well, I really, this guy could potentially die from the Hellbringer, which is bad. Uh, I am, my guillotine doesn't quite have to back up. He's very close to retreating. So I think we go with the Crockett. Advance on the building. So I think we have to. He has the most armor remaining, but he's very slow. So he's just going to go six and head to there. <laughs> so you got your Ryokan, your Stormcrow, and your uh, Loki left. Back to the buildings, that's only 10 inches. He's going to just hug it. Hug back to there, yep. Yep. And the guillotine, or the, sorry, the Hellbringer. He's going to just be like, hey, I'm going to stand here and shoot this. So I can at least see the Crockett if nobody else. Well, the guillotine can go eight. <laughs> and so he's just going to be like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> the rear but I'm also not not in the rear <laughs> so let's go to there and all die together uh, if only I could melt down automatically so you are shooting first all right so the Loki's only got one target really which is the Crockett but yeah. everybody else can see everybody else yeah except yeah, those uh, elementals who are currently just having a, a, a party yeah in let's there. start with the Loki okay um this is probably for all the marbles now, so we'll overheat three on this one. Woo! Going hot! He's gonna go full Let's missiles. Go all right, well, you have OVL long, so no matter what, even if you're outside of, I think you're in 24, but if you're not, then you're still getting your overheat bonus. Five. No, I think you're good. I think, think you're good. So? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. No, you're pretty close. Oh, I think you're out. Oh, no, lay, lay it flat, lay it flat, lay it flat, lay it flat. The angles, you're robbing yourself with the angle here. Oh, no, you are out. Oh, my I'm God. out by like a millimeter. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you get, well, you get your long range still. Yeah, yeah. You can, over, you can overheat one. the attack, right? Yeah. So yeah. you're you're going to be... Uh, Four for range. So three. So three, seven for range, eight for TMM. And then how many dice? Because you overheated for three. Yeah. Your, your, whatever your long is plus three. So you're at five damage. Yeah. Roll that eight. Right. Yeah. So it's eight to hit, five damage because you're overheating I'm looking at the wrong, wrong deck. Yeah. You're fine. Oh, so close. That was worth it. He went, he, gun's hot. Yeah, if I had been a millimeter closer, that would I know, that would have been a great roll. <laughs> I would have taken all my armor, all my remaining armor. He only has four armor left. Yeah. Seven, yeah, you would have yeah. half my health and the internals too. Yeah. So you got your Ryokin and your Thor left? Yeah, okay. Well, we don't like how that happened. But we need to kill this guy a lot. So the guillotine has four internals left, and that's it. Let's, um, okay. Good job there, Loki. You, you did good. You did. Um, <laughs> this one says in the 10. I read the guillotine. All right. So your fire control's up by two. So your base five. Yeah. And then six for my TMM. Okay. Uh, seven. seven. How much damage is that? Uh, it's going to be four. He's dead. So he's gone at the end of this. And then your Ryokin. Uh, Stormcrow. Yeah. He's going to shoot the target. He's got one target. So I guess that's kind of. That's pretty obvious. fair. So three, four, five for range. Six for TMM. Get some. Nine. How much is that? Five. Oh, you're in my guts by one. And that is a nine. Ah, that's nothing. I don't nothing. So, shooting back, how much damage does the uh, summoner have left? Summoner's got two hit points left. And how much does the Stormcrow have left? Five. Well, I think we overheat two with the Crockett, or sorry, with the Guillotine. Because he can. And do six damage potentially to the Stormcrow. So, he is three. So it'd be five damage because I'm minus one for my weapon damage right now. So I'm three, four, five for your TMM, and that's it. Five, I finish him off. Bang! So he's gone two. It's five damage. Okay. And then my Crockett is gonna take a shot into the summoner. He's got five, so he'll kill you if he hits you, but he is heated up twice. So he is five base, six for your, seven for your TMM, eight, nine for range. You got a hard roll of nine here to also kill the summoner. Come on, nine. Nope. Just be straight again. And the guillotine got the storm crow. Another point of control as you rifle through all our files. And we're going to turn six. Initiative, I think this might be the end of Crockett, but we'll see. Seven, seven. ten. I once again have the initiative, but not the building. So you're activating two to my one. All right, we'll activate mechs first. <laughs> Mexiclock, sure. 
I feel like you're gonna try and just screw around a corner here or something. Okay, let's um he's not injured in his internals yet. So, so you just you could walk ten or run twenty? I feel like we want to walk ten so we can shoot you. Well, you're plus three to hit right now. So not shooting this turn and just sprinting would allow you to cool off your guns. That's true. I forgot that I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're yeah. plus three to hit because you've overheat like crazy. So we sprint and then just cool go twenty off. and cool off over there and cover. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, you're not yeah. damaged, so you can definitely take a round of shooting. Probably gonna die, but let's just shimmy up here and drop our two men on. Okay. Oh man. Well, it's it's not looking great for Skeeter. So I think we're gonna do. A run this turn and also cool off. And we're gonna go six. We're gonna spread arc, six again. I don't think I get to your black arc. Oh, so close. So. Yeah, I know you're gonna be savage. Just stand there. We're gonna do a close range. It's overheated, so I mean, <laughs> there's a chance I live. Charge the light brigade here. I. <sighs> then your elementals can do something too. Yeah, I was almost like. If he'd come closer, I'd actually try to get him in base with him. Yeah, Follow but you can shoot me for two. That's right. right. You can just hop the other side and shoot yeah. me for two, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's do okay, let's make sure. Or you can just it. walk even. Because you can just walk two, four, six and still be yeah, in contact. Yeah, we can walk. Just la, 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 that's yeah. six. It's five. And you're shooting first. So let's see if you kill my Crockett. So he's okay. not shooting, so he fully cools off back down to zero. Yeah. At the end of the round, but you still yeah. you you we know you're not shooting. Let's have the infantry do it for fun. Okay, <laughs> crack it. Uh, skill three. Four, um, four for my TMM, and that's it. It's short range. Got him. Cracking 11. Two yeah. damage? Two damage. Roll for creds. 11? My engine. Oh no, I heat up now. I gotta heat whenever I fire my weapons. And do you get me with the Thor? Thor. One Thor. more point of damage, and I'm forced to retreat no matter what here. Yeah, so Thor. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, we can't overheat or anything special. We just shoot. Okay. Um. Just short range and so yeah. It's, well, you're so you're five because you're heated up, right? Yeah. You need help twice. Uh, he's or fire to, control, fire control. Yeah, he's fire control. Five from fire control. Five for fire control hit. Six for TMM. Six for TMM. Got me. How much? Four. Four. I got one left. Oh no, that was it. Actually, I'm dead. All right. Well, do I take you with me? I guess is the question here. We're gonna try. So we're five for our heat. Uh, six, seven for your TMM. Blast him! Come on, from Hell's Heart, Con! No, nothing. <laughs> Commissar goes goes home. <laughs> and uh, with that, your batch shell is complete, and the clan has taken the Comstar installation. So you will get uh, this turn for five, and then two more turns for seven. You held it basically as many rounds as you could, and it's seven nothing for the um, Jade Falcons at the end of the game for Rogue Galaxy. So here we go, the end of the game. The um, clan of forces taking the building. What'd you think? It was good. Yeah? Um, yeah, felt... I don't know. Like I thought it was going to be more... My impressions talking to people is going to be a lot right. more grindy. Right. It's going to be more, more like granular. Actually was little, yeah. And it... What? It was... A, they could play fast. Yeah, it's fast. fast. That's, yeah. that's the thing with Alpha Strike. Alpha Strike, it looks like there's a big, thick rule book that you have to like digest the whole thing. Yeah. But a lot of the time, it's corner case scenarios like what to do when your submarine's in the water, or like stuff like that, yeah. which isn't necessarily going to be used every single game. And the core mechanics are nice and fast. So there you go. So we'll be back in two weeks, another one. We're going to have the Donegal Guards try and retake this. I mean, their cell phone interception is just shot now because <laughs> the Jade Falcons have gone and shot up this Comstar building. They're going to show up and be like, what's going on? And try and figure out where all of the remaining cell phone repairmen are and put them back in their Comstar building. So we'll be back with that one in two weeks. Still had on Ash's mic. I've already made cheers. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Desperate Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements, like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. 
As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.